Hi everybody, my name is Jimmy Choi, and you might know me as a competitor for the last three years on the television competition show, American Ninja Warrior. 17 years ago, when I was just 27 years old, I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's. But since then, I have used exercise to help me manage the way I live and live well despite Parkinson's. Now, how is it possible to compete on the national stage while living with Parkinson's? Well, it wasn't easy and it didn't come overnight. It all started with a change in mindset. Parkinson's changed my life. So I must change my lifestyle to counter its effects. I have to physically and mentally commit to be consistent with my exercise and fitness regimen. Now to have that mental discipline to stay active in some way every single day. To recognize that exercise would no longer be just a hobby, it has to be a part of my lifestyle. And I'm honored today to be your coach for this movement break brought to you by the Davis Finney Foundation. So let's all get moving in this five minute workout focused to help improve your balance, your strength, and your endurance. I will demonstrate each of these five movements first, and then we can all get moving in a circuit style workout today. Okay, let's all get ready for a five minute workout today. There are gonna be a total of five movements and for the five movements, you're going to do each of them twice. You're going to work for 20 seconds. You're going to get a, a 10 second rest. And then we're going to immediately go right into it again for another 20 seconds of work. We're going to repeat that for nonstop for five minutes. Okay, just five movements today. I'm going to demonstrate all of these movements from a standing position. And then again, in a seated position. The first move, guys, is going to be called the single leg ice skaters. All right. A single leg ice skaters, we're gonna balance on one single leg. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. You really wanna just have a slight bend on that knee and you really wanna sit all of your weight into your hips and you're gonna balance on one leg. All right, I'm gonna turn back to the front so you can see. We're gonna load and balance on one leg and then we're gonna take our legs, the leg that, that is up in the air and we're just gonna go back and then make a half circle back to the front. Back and make a half circle to the front, all right? Now, this is what this is going to do is this is going to help strengthen those balance muscles all along the side of your legs. They're firing to keep you nice and straight. That's also gonna strengthen your core because right now my entire uh, core area is engaged to try to keep this position going. Now, if you, as you get further along, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can always increase the, uh, the height of your circles. The higher you go, the more difficult it is to keep that balance. Now from a seated position, you are going to sit off of your backrest. So your back comes off of the backrest and you're gonna have your leg extend straight out. Just like this, you're gonna feel your core engage immediately because that's what it's gonna require to keep your legs out. Okay, slight bend is okay, but let's keep that leg out as straight as you possibly can. And then you're just gonna go ahead and rotate them out as far as you can and then bring them back. Once again, this will help promote that core strength. And this is also what help you with that range of motion in your hips as well and strengthening um, your muscles, not just in your core, but in your upper quad and your leg as well. Okay. Second motion guys is going to be the Superman crunch and reach. We're going to be in a quadruped position. And what that means is just, we're going to be on our knees. We're going to have our hands directly beneath our shoulders. Our knees are directly beneath our hips. And then from here, pick a side, pick an arm, doesn't matter which one. You're gonna raise, I'm gonna choose my right arm first, and then I'm gonna lift my left leg. I'm gonna be nice and straight in this position. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring my elbows and my knees together in the center of my body, and then opening right back up, trying to get as straight as I can. And I'm just gonna repeat this process for the entire duration of that 20 seconds, staying on the same side, and then we'll switch sides on the, on, on the next 20 seconds. From the chair, same thing. We're gonna sit. You're gonna choose one arm, backs off of the backrest, and you're gonna take that arm straight up in the air, and then you're gonna drive that arm and drive that knee up, engaging your core. You're gonna touch your elbows to your knees, and then you're gonna extend that knee, that leg, extend that arm, and you're gonna come back. And you're gonna stay here for that entire 20 seconds, and then we switch for the next 20 seconds to the other side. These muscles are gonna help build your core strength. It's also gonna help you build stability, okay? Uh, across your midsection. It's gonna promote 
body shifting, body weight shifting, and then also that also helps promote control of that shift to help improve your balance. Your next movement, guys, is going to be that thing. It's going to come back to a single leg move. This one, you're going to need some kind of weight. Perhaps a water bottle is fine. Uh, a volleyball, a baseball, anything that you can pass from one hand to another. Okay, uh, could be a notebook. Really, anything. It's weight. If it's nice if it's weighted, but if it's not, that's okay. We really want you to make that exchange. So we're going to go back to that single leg stance. Remember that slight bend on that knees, sitting all of your weight into your hips, and you're going to balance on a single leg, and then you're going to take that weight or whatever object you have, and you're going to pass it over your head while maintaining balance on that one leg. And you're just going to go back and forth on the same leg, nice and slow, stay in control, okay? Just like this, this will help you with your hand-eye coordination. It's also going to promote that weight shift control as well, and it's, overall it's going to help you improve your balance. Now from a seated position, same thing, we're going to extend one leg, we're going to hold it up, engage that core, we're going to have that arm straight out, and we're going to make that exchange nice and slow as well. Even from a seated position, once that object exchanges hands, you're going to feel a weight shift, and you're going to feel your body try to adjust to help you stay straight up and down. It really challenges the core as well. So it's not an, not an easy exercise, not even, if you're, not even if you're sitting. So it's really going to challenge you, okay? The next one is going to be jumping jacks, guys. Uh, the key here for jumping jacks is a fast-paced cardio exercise. It also helps promote coordination, all right? We want to start with our in a stand up and down position, our hands to our side, and then we want to extend out and jump out to the side, full extension to the top, get your hands together and back. You can also just step out as well, okay? But we want you to move as quickly as you can. This is meant to be a high-paced high cardio exercise. Now for the chair, if you're seated in the chair, once again, backs off of that backrest, okay? And I want you to sit in a star position, and then we're gonna hands off to the side, and this is how you're gonna do your jumping jacks, okay? Same thing. What you want to do is focus on the coordination of both feet closed and hands to the sides and then both feet open and hands up top to finish, okay? Have that coordination going. Finally, guys, wood chops. This is going to be help you through rotational core development. It's going to also promote full range of motion, which is important for us because we want to have, make sure that we extend fully and not get stuck in small movements. So what we want to do is go across your body, pick a side, because you're going to switch sides, you're going to go across your body, we're going to start at the top, and we're going to come down into a squat and chop down. It's kind of like you're trying to chop down a tree. And we're just going to stay here for the entire 20 seconds, and then we'll switch. If you are in the chair, it's the same motion, okay? Again, backs off of that backrest, and we're going to chop, keeping your legs together. Get those legs out of the way as you chop, okay? You will really feel that engagement of your core and also your shoulders and your arms. Give me that full extension, back up, full extension, and close down again. All right? Those are your five movements, guys. Let's all get ready to move. All right. Looks like we're ready to roll, guys. Five minutes of work, here we go. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. We're starting with those single leg ice skaters, okay? Be ready to move. We're not gonna stop for five minutes in three, two, one. All right, balance on one leg. We're gonna go, move to the back, half circles to the front, back, half circles to the front. If you're seated, you're engaging your core, your legs are fully extended, and you're moving your legs out to the side and back. Good, just three more seconds, guys. Two, one, really nice. Rest, get ready to switch to the other leg. Here we go, guys, in five seconds. Three, two, one, balance. Back, half circles, back, half circles. Remember, once you get more and more comfortable with these movements, all right, go ahead and try to bring your legs up as high as you can. It gets more difficult and trying to complete those circles as well, staying balanced. Really nice, guys. All right, good. 
another 10 seconds of break. Our next move is gonna be the Superman crunch and reach, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and turn to my side. Remember, we're gonna, here we go, everybody's up. We're gonna reach straight. Keep your body as straight as possible to the ground. You're gonna crunch elbows to knees, back open, make it nice and straight, elbows to knees. We are promoting good stability practice. Our body weight is shifting. We've got three more seconds. Two, one. All right, 10 seconds break, guys. We're gonna go ahead and switch arms and switch sides. Here we go in three, two, one. Reach, straight body. We're gonna close in, bring our elbows to the knees. If you're seated, you wanna bring your knees up and your elbows down right at the center. You wanna keep your body as straight to the ground as you can. If you're seated, make sure your back is off of that backrest. Two seconds, guys. Very nice. All right, now we're standing up. Single leg overhead pass. Grab your object, your water bottle, whatever it is. Two, one. Here we go, guys. Balance on one leg, arms are straight out. We're making that exchange. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Staying balanced. If you kick your legs out, you might be able to find an easier position to hold for your balance. Two more seconds and rest. Good. Now we're ready to switch to the other leg, guys. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and we're balancing, good. We're slowly making a full range of motion. Your hands are completely out to your sides, across the top, exchange above your head, whatever object that is. You can feel your weight shifting. You can feel your body trying to adjust. Just a couple more seconds. Really nice, guys. All right, here we go, jumping jacks. Remember, meant to be fast paced cardio movement. Three, two, one. Here we go. Everybody's moving. Jumping jacks. Really nice. Good. Now you can also be stepping out as well, but keep it nice and fast paced. Just keep it going, guys. In three more seconds. One, and rest. We're going to do that again. Jumping jacks twice. Okay? For those of you who are seated, remember, we want our legs fully extended, our hands to the side. Here we go, everybody's moving. And we're going out, trying to keep those hands and those feet as coordinated as possible. We're moving as quickly and as safely as we can. Just by keeping my chest up, I'm feeling my core engaged. I've got my arms, my legs, everything's moving really good, guys. 10 seconds rest. Our last movement are going to be those wood choppers. Starting from one side, here we go. I'm going from up and I'm chopping, squatting down, up, chop, and just moving cross body, full range of motion, guys. Fully extended arms down, fully extended arms up. Okay? Good, keep going. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice, 10 seconds rest. This is it, our last one, okay? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. We wanna get nice, 90 degree bend. Here we go, we're chopping. Get that squat down as low as you can go. And then get your arms up, straight full extension, up and down, up and down. Here we go, guys, keep going. Really nice, two, one. Good job, all right. Just like that, guys, five minutes of work. It flies right by. Now, as you get more comfortable and as you get more fit, you guys can increase this to two rounds, three rounds, increase it from 20 seconds to 30 seconds, make all kinds of adjustments, make it work for you, make it fun, keep challenging yourselves, keep moving. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon.